having made only one mistake in a year to fix it up. Question number two, Kiritabu Allen. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What recent reports has he seen on the New Zealand economy? The Honourable Grant Robertson. Speaker, the Reserve Bank's Financial Stability Report, released this week, said that the country's financial system, which is deeply integrated into the New Zealand economy, is sound and that the risks to it have abated a little. Talking more broadly about New Zealand's economic structure, Standard & Poor's in a report this week said that our, the economic structure of New Zealand benefits from an open, prosperous, flexible and resilient economy. Based on this, Standard & Poor's is expecting economic growth to be, quote, robust at 2.8 per cent a year between 2018 and 2020, which is in the range of other forecasts and, yes, Dr Clark, represents serious momentum, as the Leader of the Opposition has said. <laughs> These reports provide further confirmation that this coalition government's plan to build a productive, sustainable and inclusive economy is working. Supplementary. Why is a resilient economy important for the government's economic strategy? It's important because resilience and strong underlying fundamentals are essential to improving the well-being of New Zealanders and their families. If we continued to base our economic growth on selling houses to one another and on population growth, we will end up as we have with infrastructure deficits, services struggling to keep up and rising inequality. We need to change the quality of economic growth so it is productive, providing more higher wage jobs, sustainable and not running down our natural resources, and inclusive, providing opportunities for everyone. We need to transition the economy to make sure every New Zealander has the possibility to succeed. What is the next step in the government's plan for economic transformation? Well, Mr Speaker, in our next month's budget policy statement will guide the way to the 2019 wellbeing budget. It will show how the government will produce budgets that include a wider range of factors of success, not just our fiscal success, but also how we are ensuring that our people, our environment and our communities are strengthened. Additionally, while continuing to meet our budget, 20, our budget responsibility rules, the 2019 wellbeing budget will deliver policies to support continued productive, sustainable and inclusive economic growth. Mr Speaker, economic growth is not an end in itself, but an important means by which we improve the living standards and well-being of all New Zealanders. Question number three, the Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the